Hey, Bearski here. Thanks for clicking on my video. I really appreciate it. And if this video worked out for you, why not let me know in the comments or drop in a like. Hope you have a great day and let's get on with it. First thing I need you to do is to click the switch distance button. It is found here on the dashboard or here when you click on quick settings. This will give you a bigger window that you can shrink, enlarge, as well as move around so you can have multiple windows at once. It's very important for various points of the video. Next, we will need an email address to sign up to SciQuest. If you don't have a Microsoft Outlook account, I would recommend getting one for this guide, simply to ensure you are following along with near exact instructions. So to create a Microsoft Outlook account, we first open the Meta Browser. You can access this either through the dashboard, but if it's not on the dashboard, you can open it in the app library. Type in Outlook at the top URL search bar. And click on the first link here that says Microsoft Outlook personal email and calendar. Now click on the little person icon to the right. Click on the Create One link. Follow the steps and create an email. Once everything is completed, you will now click and hold the top of the window and drag it to your left so that the window occupies a new space. Click the plus button here to create a new tab, then drag this tab to the original space that the previous window occupied. Enter SideQuest in the URL search bar. Click the SideQuest link. Click on the little person icon on the right and click on Sign In. Scroll down and click on Sign Up Account. Enter the email address you just created and click Send Verification Link. Look to your second window on the left and click on the verification email from SciQuest. Enter the code provided into the code field. Follow along and enter your information as I enter mine.
Click on SideQuest search bar and type in SideQuest. Click on SideQuest inside your VR headset. Scroll down and click on the link beside Download APK Link directly. Click on app-release.apk to download the APK. There will be a little prompt that shows you are downloading the APK. Now open the Metastore either by clicking the app on the dashboard or by going to the app library. Type in Mobile VR Station in the search bar at the top. Click on Mobile VR Station app. Click on download and allow the program to download and install. Once Mobile VR Station is installed, open it through the app library. Now for this next part, follow along very carefully as the app can behave very strangely and it has some odd behaviors. Such as if you hover over something that can be selected, it will actually select it for you, even though you don't give it the, even if you don't click on your controller. If at any time you get lost, I would recommend clo closing the app altogether and reopening and then starting uh, at the very beginning of this section. It's just the best way so you don't get lost. Now let's get to it. Click on local files. Click on all folders. Click on Android. Click on data. Click on scope storage actions at the bottom. My apologies, it's a little cut off here. The Quest 2 can have a odd viewing site, but it's at the bottom of this list. Click on step one, request access. Click on quest two. Depending on your region, this may say HMD storage station or something to that effect. At any rate, you would wanna click in this general area to move on to the next step. Here you'll see a folder list. We are looking for the download folder. Next, click on the quad arrow that appears in the app dash wheel release.apk object. It's this spot right here. Click continue on the prompt and then install on the following prompt. Click done when completed. Now close out of mobile VR station. Open the app library. Change the all drop down list to unknown sources. Click on SideQuest to open it. SideQuest will then ask you to link your account.
drag the window to the left space and open the meta browser through the app library. You may have to change the drop down list from unknown sources to all. Type in sdq period st slash link and enter the provided code. Click link now. Okay. You can now close the meta browser and drag SideQuest back to the original space. Click allow on the permission prompt. We will be downloading two apps here, Quest app version switcher and BMBF. Click the magnifying glass in the top right corner. Type in Quest app version switcher. I'll be calling this Quavs or Quest app version switcher from here on out just so you know. Click on the Quavs app. Click on the side load link. Click settings on the prompt. It may prompt again, but do not click it a second time. When the install unknown apps window appears, click that window. The previous prompt will disappear. Click the toggle for allow from the source. Click the bottom go back arrow. Click install on the prompt. Now search for BMBF. Click on the BMBF app. Click on sideload. Click install on the prompt. Click update on the next prompt. Close SideQuest. Open the app library. Make sure you are set to unknown sources in the drop down list and click on Quest app version switcher. Click the toggle beside allow access to manage all files and then click the bottom go back arrow. Click start. Click downgrade.
Click Mod My Game. This prompt may take a minute to appear. Click Install Game. Click Start Uninstall. Click OK on the prompt. Click Continue in Step 1.1. Click Install App in Step 2. Click Settings on the prompt. The prompt may reappear. Do not click Settings again. Click on the Install Unknown Apps window behind the prompt. Turn the toggle on and click the bottom go back arrow. Click on Grant Access in Step 2.1. Click on Install App in Step 2. Click on Install. Click Close on the Restore App prompt. Click Grant Access. 
Click Grant Access again. Click Use This Folder. Click Allow. Click Use This Folder. Click Allow. Click Continue. Click the toggle for Allow Access to manage all files. Beat Saber version should also now say 1.28. Click the bottom Go Back arrow. Click Continue in Step 4. Click Done in the Finish prompt. Close Quabs. Open BMBF from unknown sources. Click the toggle to allow access to manage all files. Click OK on the BMBF permissions prompt. Click on Use this folder. Click Allow. If you get a BMBF white screen of pause, close BMBF and reopen it like I do here. Click on Mods at the top here and click Sync to Beat Saber. Once this all completes, you will now have access to custom songs in Beat Saber. But if you want some bonus mods, and some songs do require these bonus mods to work, keep on watching. Click on Browser. The mods I recommend are Better Song Search, Chroma, Map Extensions, and Noodle Extensions. Click Download on each mod you wish to have. Then click on Mods at the top and click Sync to Beat Saber. Once it all syncs up, close BMBF and open Beat Saber from the app library. Note, you do need to open this from the app library or from the dashboard. If you attempt to open this from Quaz or BMBF, it will crash. 
You may get a prompt saying to open, restore, or close the app. Be sure to click open app. Restore will undo all the downgrading and modding you just did. If Beat Saber crashes, just open it from the app library and click that open app prompt. It will open once it all straightens out. To download songs, click on more songs on the left. Here you can search for song titles, find the one you want to try, and then just click download.